I see DBR as uh, an effort to make educational research more relevant and connected to the practice of practicing educators. And there is danger of irrelevance because the public sees, and when I say public, I mean legislators, uh, policymakers, often see uh, educators as living in a separate world from educational researchers. And so seeing, de uh, to me, DBR or design-based research has the potential to bring those two communities more in sync with each other. I'm Tom Reeves from the University of Georgia, and I think design-based research is important because education, and particularly educational research, has not had sufficient impact on the problems that students and teachers and parents and other stakeholders in the education enterprise have. And so we need to engage in DBR to have more impact. I think that it's critically important to do design-based research because um, as much of our literature states, uh, uh, many of the studies that are done are done just to promote professors into uh, tenure positions and we should really be thinking more about the big picture items because when we think about what we're doing as educators, um, we're working in a really important field. and we have some very big problems that we need to tackle and the beauty of design-based research is it really focuses on these big picture problems that need to be solved. I think design-based research is really important because of the problem we have in education of this gap between theory and practice that um, we do a lot of really interesting work that sometimes doesn't trickle down and actually affect people learning and people being able to teach other people. So I think design-based research allows us to continue to do really good theoretical and research work while also making a difference for people that are learning. Product that we're working on right now, which is a 3D virtual learning environment for kids with autism uh, to help them develop social competencies. Uh, DBR is a strategy that we use to make that, you know, to make a stronger product, uh, to build better understandings. But uh, the parents of kids with autism don't want to read my article about DBR and how I got smarter about some theories. They want to know, does this thing work for their kid? Um, you know, if they invest and have, have their kid do this, will they get some, you know, return that they can see in the, uh, you know, in what their child is able to do and their promise for the future? So we have to also be committed to uh, understanding the impact of the uh, product, um, you know, pre and post testing. There's nothing wrong with pre and post testing. It's, you know, it helps us understand uh, is this thing working or not? Um, it's not the thing that I want to start off with in the first week of development, but I want to get there in my studies so I can understand, uh, you know, uh, kind of the, the value of what we've produced to the constituency that's out there looking for uh, improved education, improved opportunities for kids and, you know, kids of all ages, I guess. <laughs> I think that DBR is really important because there are a lot of people in our field who are interested in um, changing the way uh, education is done. And I don't mean that in a pejorative way. I don't mean to say that education is bad. I mean to say that there are some really apparent problems and we have some distinct ideas about how to fix those. Um, or at least ideas that we want to try out to see if it helps address those issues. And DBR is a way to do that and still have a very healthy, productive, and robust career as a researcher at a, at a university. So 
I really see the potential for it there. And then beyond that, the relevance and impact that it might have on actual practice in classrooms or other educational settings. Thank you.